chip design is a massive investment for you, then it's the process of getting it all manufactured. Why is Amazon doing this? Well, thanks, Emily. It's, it's great to be here today. You know, our focus on custom silicon is really focused on customers. It's our customer obsession that's driving us. And what customers are really looking for is more performance and lower cost. Um, and when we took a look at the chip space, we realized that over the last couple of years, a number of years, actually, since the early 2000s, we've only seen about a 10 to 15 percent improvement in performance uh, in the chip space, which is a lot less than what customers had back in the 90s. And we thought, given our investment in infrastructure already as a cloud provider, there was a lot we could do there. And so we, we focused on how do we build the most advanced, fastest ARM-based CPU or server chip for our customers. And we did that with our, with our server chip called Graviton2, um, which is allowing our customers to actually improve their performance by about 40% at about a 20% reduction in cost. And you know how imp important performance and cost reduction are for customers. And so bringing that to AWS has allowed customers to bring their workloads um, and just be able to do more at a lower cost. Now, you're not just making chips for servers, but also, as I understand it, voice recognition, graphics, AI, machine learning. And, and as you've said, you've proven you're, you're pretty good at it. Does that mean that Alexa and our Kindles will have Amazon design chips as well? Oh, uh, likely over time, absolutely. You know, we actually started our custom silicon journey all the way back in 2010. And so this is not just something we've been doing recently. It's something we realized we had to do as a cloud provider in the very early days of AWS. Um, we, we actually purchased a chip manufacturing company called Annapurna Labs back in 2014. I um, mean, they've built no fewer than 11 different chips for us today. And so that's the server chip in Graviton. We do have chips in the machine learning space with Inferentia and Trainium that are coming out. I um, mean, it's very likely that you'll continue to see us innovate in this space, as long as it makes sense for our customers, which is what we're always looking at. How do we improve our customer experience? And that drives us. Now, Google and Microsoft are also making their own chips and also have big cloud businesses. And I'm curious, how do you think your efforts compare to theirs? Or how do you think your efforts give you an advantage over what they're doing? Well, you know, we, we, we try not to, at Amazon, we try not to focus too much on what our competitors are doing, uh, but stay focused on what customers are seeing. You know, we've been very early to the ARM game. Uh, as I said, we started back in 2010. We worked very closely with ARM uh, over the last number of years. And we put out our first ARM chip actually back in 2018 and really actually sparked an ecosystem. We signaled to the market that an ARM server chip was available in the cloud. And we've just seen customers like Snap with their, their Snapchat application, seeing customers like Honeycode IO, and even our own Alexa start using this custom silicon. And it's growing from small startups to large enterprises. And so I guess the one advantage we have, it's available today. You know, we've seen customers like Twitter even uh, decide to choose AWS as their primary cloud provider um, because the, the goal of moving more and more of their workloads to ARM. Uh, and so it's available today on AWS for customers to use, and we're going to continue innovating in this space with what we've built, the muscle we've built internally um, to be able to build this custom silicon. So clearly this is more than just a side hustle or a hobby. Do you think that this is something you could turn into an external business and sell Amazon design chips to other companies? Well, right now we're really focused on what chips do we have to bring into our cloud environment. Um, and we do have the ability to put some of these chips into customer data centers as well, um, you know, through our outpost post program where we can bring AWS to you. Um, over time, I guess it's interesting to see where it will go. It's difficult to know where we'll be in five years time or how innovation will take us or what customer demand is going to be. So I certainly wouldn't say no to that question, but it's not something we're currently planning. Now, your CEO, Jeff Bezos, weighed in positively on President Biden's infrastructure plan. And there's this big chip summit happening in Washington next week. If there's one thing the administration could do that you believe would help the industry, what would that be? Well, you know, I think um, there's obviously a lot of focus right now in, in supply chain and making sure that we have enough chips. Uh, on the Amazon side, you know, we've been innovating, innovating in our supply chain. It's kind of in the DNA of what Amazon does. Um, so obviously making sure that there's enough chips available for demand uh, is critically important. Um, we're actually very confident in where we are from a supply chain point of view uh, at this point in time. And we've been able to withstand things, you know, like we had in COVID last year, last year with an incredible demand on cloud capacity. But obviously making sure that we have the necessary, you know, supply uh, and whatever we can do there would, would be critical for everyone involved. 